Hello and welcome back. Today I'm so excited to show you guys something that I get asked about all the time. It is about pots and how I find all the pots that I get for my plants when it's time to repot. Coming up on spring, everybody's gonna be repotting and one of the struggles is finding the right pot. Something that's cute, but also functional. So a lot of times when you go to the stores, you will find pots that don't have drainage. So we are gonna remedy that in this video. Before we get started, I wanted to thank Doba for providing the products that I'll be using in this video. They are a drop shipping platform that specializes in high profit products for those looking to start their own business or online store. This eliminates the need for entrepreneurs to hold inventory, manage shipping, or front the costs associated with traditional retail models. They provide a hassle-free way for anyone to start their own online business. And click on the link in the description below to review their offered products, and I will be showing you the products that I was sent later in this video. So when it comes to plants, drainage is obviously key. A lot of times you will hear people say, just put rocks in the bottom of your pot if it doesn't have a drain hole, but that does not work. It raises the water level so that the water hits the rocks and then goes horizontally and the soil will stay damp a lot longer. And so it really doesn't help in any way. There's nowhere for that water to go once it even goes down into the rocks, it's just gonna stay there. And so you're gonna end up with soggy soil. So unless you water perfectly every time, it's gonna be a problem. So I always prefer and recommend that you use a pot that has drainage holes. A lot of times when you buy a plant in a nursery, it will come in a grower's pot like this that has plenty of drainage holes down at the bottom. Sometimes though, we want something that's cuter than this. The plastic pots just don't always do it. And I get that. So you have a couple options. You can get a cute pot, but it doesn't have drainage. So what you can do is you can set this pot into the planter like that which that works, but sometimes they don't fit right, and a lot of times they'll be even taller. Um, so if you wanted to put this plant directly into this pot, we need to make some drain holes. So I'm gonna be using some masonry drill bits sent to me by Doba, and I'm gonna show you guys those real quick. So here's the set I'll be using. These drill bits are for use on brick, cement, and concrete. So they will work great for a ceramic pot. I am going to be using number 10, which is right here. And so you will need to have a drill. And it's really easy. We're just going to put it in here and attach it into our drill. And then I'm going to try to do this in real time so that you guys can see how long this actually takes. So just one second. So I'm going to put this cutting board underneath just so I don't ruin my table. <laughs> Ideally, you'd do this out in the garage, but I just don't want to. It's a little chilly today. So here we have our pot. We are going to drill a hole in the center. I personally don't use water or tape or anything like that. I've found it's just fine to use just the drill bit. So we're going to find the center or as close as the center as you can get. And then get some leverage and slowly start the drill and apply slight pressure. You can see it starting to get down in there a little bit, making a hole. And so I go until I see just the slightest little opening and then we'll turn it over and we'll drill from the inside. I found that helps a lot so that you don't break the pot. So I'm gonna keep going here. Getting closer. <laughs> I 
also want to stress it's very important that you take your time when you're doing this. If you go too quickly, you can risk cracking the pot and ruining it completely. So take your time. Even if you want to hurry, just don't. It's worth it to go slow. Okay, so you can see here that it has made a little hole in the bottom now. And instead of continuing to go through this side, I'm gonna turn it over and you can see in here where the hole has poked through. So now we're gonna go in through the center this way, just as slow. Until you get all the way through. And there we go. That easy. So now we have a pot that we can put our plant in directly and it will have great drainage. For this portion of the video, I'm gonna be using this auto face tracking tripod, which is so cool. I cannot get over it. If I move, it moves with me and it is so fun. I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this making content. So it's really neat. It has this little camera right here and it basically you can turn, I could also turn my phone so it's vertically. So I'm gonna love that for reels. Um, but if I move, it moves. I don't know, I can't get over it. I think it's so cool. This is great for any content creator, for sure. Okay, now that we have our hole drilled right here, we are going to go ahead and pot up. I am so excited to get this in this cute little planter. I think it will look so sweet. This is a Syndapsis Silver, and it has these really cool green, gray leaves, and I love it. So we are just gonna basically be taking it out of this pot and putting it into our new pot that we drilled a hole in. So I'm just going to try to do this without making a mess since I do not have my potting mat. We'll see how it goes. Oh no, not going well. <laughs> Let's just go for it. There we go. And look at those roots. Oh my gosh, it was so happy. This is Soul Soils Houseplant Mix. Um, and this has been so happy in this mix. I love it so much. So we have this, I am going to add, just because I have a little bit of extra space um, and I wanna keep it nice and chunky, I'm going to add a little bit of orchid mix just to the very top of the pot. So we're gonna see how that goes. So I have this, and let me get my orchid mix. And the camera follows me, it's so cool. This tripod is amazing. Okay, so we have the orchid mix. I'm just going to open this up. And this is just a super chunky mix. It has some uh, charcoal in it, some really chunky perlite. So basically I'm using this just as like a top dressing because it's very, very chunky, um, but it'll make it look a lot prettier in this pot. So we're just gonna add some in here, like this. Hey, get back here. Okay, love that. And there we go. How cool is that? This has been such a fun little project, super easy. So don't pass by the pots that don't have drainage. Just know that you can always drill your own. Um, there's so many cute pots out there and I have been one that has passed them by because they didn't have drainage before, but now I won't be and I'm so happy to have these products. If you guys wanna check out these products, I will be linking them in the description below. So definitely go check them out. I think you guys would love them. This face tracking tripod is seriously amazing. Um, and then the drill bit set is so useful. It has a variety of different sizes for any of the holes you wanna drill. If you wanna do something smaller than this, you could. You could do three. Um, if you have a larger pot, you can do bigger holes. It works great. So definitely recommend. I seriously cannot get over this thing. It follows you <laughs> wherever you go. This would be amazing for my kids to be talking to my mom or something like that on the phone. I think they would have so much fun with this, but it's kind of like a little robot. Super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again to Doba for supplying these awesome products. If you guys wanna check out these specific products, you can find them in the links in the description below. Otherwise, make sure you guys check out Doba if you're thinking about opening your own online store or if you have a business, they're a great dropshipping option.